Hi everyone, my name is Danica Joan and I have my lovely co-host, Caroline Rina. Yay! Yay. Oh, this is exciting. We and welcome to Custody Matters Live. Uh, I absolutely love it this time. Every Wednesday evening we get together and we have this amazing conversation about what we're doing in the realm of family advocacy. We're also, we're, I would say, would you agree, Caroline, that we try to bring a positive approach, something that's more empowering to the conversation? Yeah, 100%, because there's so much negativity within this realm. It's it's like, brings it brings me down, and I build my, you know, we build ourselves up, and then it's like, ugh. So it's hard enough going through it. Why not make the best of it and work it in more positivity? That's right. You know, and we do try to cover a lot of the, the, the serious topics um, around this by bringing on guests and things like that, but a lot of what our work is, is kind of in the background, behind the scenes. And Caroline, we've been working with a team, uh, a development team for this amazing platform, this amazing community uh, called Hope for Families. And it's actually going to take over, we're redesigning uh, kidsneedbotho.org's website to encompass this community. Yeah, yeah. It's it's really amazing. I mean, um our our goal is to reach as many people and and connect as many people as we can together and make this more of a unified um process healing and and working through the challenges of divorce and co-parenting and all that type of thing. So, um that's that's our goal or parts of our goal. Um and it's not just I would say it's not just just to be of service to uh, ultimately, the families, because and I and, and even more ultimately, the children and their futures uh, depend on families and parents being healed and um, and becoming whole again. Now, but and even gone further than that, you can become healed and whole and become advocates and help other people because I've met so many other parents out there who want to help, but they just don't know what to do. So this is all part of that too. There's, there's a whole bunch of different little things that are going on here that are gonna you know, bring you from the, the, where, the depths of wherever you are into where you can be. And, and we're gonna be here to guide that. And that's kind of like, well, that's the reason that we're bringing this out today. So yeah, I would say that all of us that are involved, even the different the practitioners that we've we're bringing together, um, are many of them of us have experienced, uh, you know, have personal experience with alienation, and mm -hmm. high conflict custody situations. So um, so the goal is to bring us all together, bring us all together in unity because there are many groups out there. I'm sure that many of you watching this know that there's how many groups there are to tap into. And you, when you get in there, you get the feeling that this is either for me or it's not, or is, this is a little bit more, uh, there's a lot of negative stuff going on or, or this other group is, you know, for whatever reason, you find your own niche. Now, we're actually looking for something. We're looking for um, people to join our team who are gurus in a particular field of custody matters. So I just this week, I posted, and I'm gonna share it, I posted an Instagram and shared it on the different groups that we're looking for you to tell us what topics would make a difference? If we were to able to find a guru that would be able to lead a facilitated group, a live facilitated group that would last for about um, eight sessions, it would it would be a it wouldn't be an open ended kind of group like you see everywhere in social media. This is truly like intentional kind of almost like topic or curriculum based group. What topic would you want to be covered? Um, and, and you can actually, um, I don't mean to interrupt, but I just want to make sure I get this out there. It's, it, custody matters are important and every other, any other aspect of alienation or 
um, what's happening in, in this realm is important too. So anything that you have as a topic would be most welcome to, for us to look at and, and, and figure out how to piece together um, a group like that. Yeah, you know, I'm going to be reaching out to, and this is the other thing is, is we as a team are all collaborative. We have our own organizations that we that different ones of us have started, um, but and we want to bring the power in, mm. under one uh, in you know in one space so that we get the benefit of the power of many. So um, I know there was one group that I'm reaching out to uh, National Association of Divorce Professionals. Um, I'm very connected with one of the founders with that and they have amazing resources, whether it's accountants, uh, lawyers, mental health counselors, educators, different kinds of people who are involved in uh, the family stabilization industry um, that really have their heart in the right spot to try to help bring healing to hurting families. So uh, we're reaching out to diff different gurus there to lead our these facilitated groups. Uh, I know for me, because I'm an author of the family stabilization curriculum that parents uh, take to get divorced or you know uh, custody established, that's an area that I would like to build a group around and work with, with parents who are trying to navigate co-parenting relationships. Mm -hmm. uh, and Caroline, why don't you share a little bit about what kind of group that you're interested in possibly creating out of this platform? Well, I mean, it's, it's when I started going through this, there's, there's a lot of trauma involved, obviously, in all of this for, for the children and the parents. Um, and it took me a long time in my search, my journey, whatever, to break through, and I'm still doing it. I mean, I, I got to admit that I'm still working through these traumatizing patterns and stuff like that that happened. And being able to work through the anger and the fear and the shame and that type of thing and getting to the other side. And then, like I said earlier, I wanted to bring this up. It's so important because with the healing journey, you can advocate. If you're in the middle of everything, you can't advocate for others. If you want to help others and you're still mad, it's not going to happen. So it, it's just, it, I mean, it could, you could try it, but it, eventually it'll fizzle out. What you want is something that's sustainable. And in order to get to that point, healing your trauma for yourself and no one else is so important to, I, I use the phrase from trauma to triumph, um, in, in my groups because I want to build you out of that space and, and connect you with who you are and then place you in that space where you want the next level and to move into the next level and to move into advocating for other people or, you know, starting your business, whatever, whatever it is that you want to do, but you got to start somewhere. And that somewhere is knowing who you are and why you operate the way you do and why this particular thing has affected you. So my group will probably be more related to the basic uh, trauma and regaining yourself and your self-worth from that and becoming a, the person who you are, who you're meant to be and moving, um, moving forward with that. I think that's the best way I can say it. <laughs> I love it. Um, one of the things that another group that I'm uh, creating as well is from Alienated to Advocate. Um, it's kind of the working title, but we'll see. The whole purpose is to, is if you have a want to be a leader in this work and maybe you already have a group fleshed out and, and you have your Facebook page and, and things like that, you, but you find that yourself as a, you're being like a one man band. Maybe that's something that we together uh, can work on the structure so that you can expand yourself bigger than who you are because Lord knows that's how I started 20 years ago is a one man band. And uh, when I look back and I'm like, oh my goodness, I accomplished so much to be just a one man band. But if I had had the skills and the guidance to expand myself, multiply myself, then I could have 
accomplished things tenfold. You know, I'm glad you said that because the thing that popped into my head was um, for, uh, in my world, it's like the work that I do on myself is exponential when I know how to move into <clears throat> advocating for other people. So for many years, it's like, I'm doing the work, I'm doing the work, I'm doing blah, 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 blah. And then I ask the question, well, how the heck do I put it out there? I have no idea how to put it out there. I know what I, I know what I want. I know what I'm doing for the most part. I need a little tweaking, but how do I do it? So how became my guide after a while? Once, once the work on myself was done, the how, and that's how I see, that's why I got so excited about the advocacy thing, because I believe that once you're healed, you can advocate. Um, uh, that's why I got so excited about Danica when we talked about this is because she's taking who you are and giving you the how and making, bringing you into the bigger version of yourself and, and putting you out there to help with other people. And the fact that we are, as she said too, um, collaboration, all of us are, are into collaboration. You can't work as an island. It doesn't work. I mean, you can gather people, but if you keep staying on your own island and you don't work and, and you're not, you know, working amongst each other and helping, it, it's, it's not as powerful. It's not as, you know, big. It, it gains momentum when you work with other people. And it's so important to bring all these, all these groups of people who are doing this together and, and building that and empowering them, building that power, building that strength and, and helping each other instead of fighting each other. You know, it's just, it's just my thing. That's, that's why I, I get so excited about a lot of, you know, the stuff that Danica talks about, because we kind of have, what is that, simbatico? <laughs> to say yeah. That. yeah, thoughts. And, and it's just so, so important to do this work together, not fighting each other whether we're parents or, or professionals or, you know, um, whatever we're doing, it, it, it's important. It's just important. That's right. That's what... <laughs> yeah, for sure. So, and, and what I found is that, you know, as we're looking for the right guru, obviously we need to find the right topics that are important to you. Um, and uh, one of one, I want to share with you, I just posted this on, Instagram yesterday and then some of the Facebook groups, but this was just a little um, An Instagram that I created and you know, just like a perfectionist. I'm like, oh, I should have reworded it, but whatever um, hey, It's new. We're practicing That's I know. It. <laughs> so like, uh, one thing to know is that we've actually rebranding kids need both and and you see that that little um, circular kind of thing that's our that's our new logo for kids need both and um, and you know that's part of what we're creating we're looking to um, to unify and bring bring all of these groups together um, and be of service to the individual groups. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think I think the most important thing that that people need to understand that we're not doing this from our um, understanding or knowledge or whatever. The point is is that we connect with you, the the um, person who who needs this information and needs the guidance or needs this whatever it is that we're gonna. There's so many different things we're putting out there. I can't really use all the words, but. Um, you guys need to let us know what you need because we can't, we're not going to do it from our perspective to you because I can go all day and tell you what I need, but that may or may not help you. I don't know that. We don't know that. So yeah. answering that question would be huge, huge help for us to, to gather that, that um, information and put it to use for you. So the more people, I mean, if, if we have a thousand people that come back and say, you know, oh my God, I really could use help with co-parenting with or without the person who's a narcissist or however that works out. I really could use that. And we get a thousand answers. That's something we can start looking at. And that's where I want to pull <laughs> Danica because that's her thing, co-parenting. So um, I think that's I, a good example as a topic. I mean, I would say um, that I think that's the one thing is that we've been very transparent in this process. We're, we're, we have a project manager and programmers creating this community like right now 
and we're not waiting to to wait for you know it to be so ironclad that it you know we're like we're afraid somebody's going to steal it that's not the way that we work we're very um very transparent because ultimately if like everybody wins if somebody um is more successful i mean because i know there's a lot of people who, who have different groups different facebook lives um shows that they do on a regular basis and they're hitting a lot of people and i know they're doing good work and i'm like yes this is awesome um so there's no i have nothing about um the fact that i've got to keep this you know keep this to myself um i want to share 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 and i want you to be involved i want you to be involved in the creation process of these are the topics that our gurus are going to facilitate and yep. uh, and, and your voice, your voice, we all need to be heard, your voice, we want to hear your voice. That's, right. that's I think that's important to know that we want to hear you. Yeah, and you some of the, the other aspects of the platform are, ooh, I got the one little, the one sheet, huh? Um, is, okay, so the concept is to have a social community platform with family support, resources, services, and coaching. Um, and we are looking for the results that we're, we're establishing um, a catalog of family support resources, a community, and groups supporting families in staying together and parenting effectively. Uh, awareness of the problem that childhoods are traumatized and our cause, our solution is to empower the families. And parents have healthy, a healthy divorce and they work together to support their children. Um, and I don't wanna go through the whole list, but um, yeah, like the goal is to support other groups who are doing conferences in their areas. I think there was one that came on our radar from North Dakota. I'm like, yeah, let's, let's, um, expand that because that information it, you may not be able to go to north dakota for her, that particular person's conference but i know that person wants everybody to get the get the education and well, uh, yeah and, and going back to what you said earlier it's like all these people who have or anyone who has a group that they're trying to get out there just reach out to us i mean if everything fits and, and you're we're, you're in that in this on this we're all on the same page and everything. We'd love to include you in this. I mean, that's the whole point is try finding. We, it's hard enough for us to go online and dig through every single, you know, group that's out there. But if you reach out to us, we'll, we're more than willing to talk to you about this, you know, so, and hopefully bring you in. Yeah. So, um, give us the topics that we're, that, um, we can create groups around and then we can also seek, uh, gurus to to lead those groups um the groups the way we envision it right now is it's going is is it to be about a six to eight week commitment uh not only for the guru but for the participants so it's not an ongoing um group it's very intentional like if i'm going to be talking about co-parenting um you know i'm going to have six we're going to meet six times or six to eight times and we're going to talk about specific areas um, that I've actually written in my co-parenting curriculum. Um, same thing with creating um, advocates and, and all that. We come together in this um, kind of think tank and we share openly about what we want to create out in the world. And I can use my expertise to share with you and work with you on have on making your vision a reality so so and um yeah i'm excited i'm super excited about it uh part of it is it's because it's so possibility based it's not um there's too much in the world that is um based upon resignation and discouragement and finding the the fault or what's missing we're, we are looking for the gaps of, of what's missing, but we're looking at the gaps so that we can put possibilities in those gaps. 
Yeah, and and what's in, especially now, like you said, at this time of the of what's going on in the in the world, I mean, a lot of us feel stuck where we are. I mean, literally, physically, um, emotionally, uh, mentally, what spiritually, whatever that looks like, and and being able to break through that is 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 the key to getting to what you want to do and what, how we can help each other. And I think it's so important that um, we're aware of that and that we just make a decision. You know, I'm, I'm not doing this this way anymore. I'm just, that's it. I'm done with that and I'm gonna do this. And it's that decision that pushes you. So I, I highly recommend <laughs> that making that decision. I know that works, so. That's right, that's right. Yeah. I've, um... What was that? I something I don't know why I just wanted to do a shout out to Linda. Linda's always always there on our um, broadcasts, always giving us some support. One of these days I'll actually meet her, but um, yeah, I see her on several of the groups, and I just wanted to just acknowledge you, you and the other her? ones that have come. Huh? You want to say her last name or? No, I don't think so. She knows who she is. She knows who she is. <laughs> but, um, yeah people like that you're like all right you need to to come and uh and join our team yeah it's like we've got we've got raving fans we're looking for raving fans that's what we want <laughs> i tell you a, fa a, a fan for families 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 restored that's right all right is that is that's all we have for this week i i think so yeah i think that's uh, big this is huge <laughs> I know I look at all the all the stuff we like we meet every week our team meets every week and we're like okay what's next what's next and um and it's super excited exciting to to create possibilities mm -hmm. and put something into the world that's actually going to make a difference globally I know one of the uh about a year and a half ago a group from Israel reached out to me and it was an adult child of parental alienation and um whose parents had gone through divorce and they just and he just did not know what was missing for him is that there's there wasn't in his world a lot of um people couldn't really identify with with that maybe the culture those of you who have some connect some connection to israel may understand it a little bit more than i do but the point being is he really wanted to create a young people's group to um to work these things out and uh so that's an that's another person of course we have friends in australia as well um the uk um this is an amazing project that can unify everybody globally mm -hmm. and inspire trained coaches to come on board who fit into those topics that people are a demand for. So. You know, I just, one last thing I wanna say, cause you talk about globally all the time. I did research a while ago and I don't remember if I read it within the community, um, but I did see it at one point that uh, 70 to 80% of the countries in the world are involved somehow in parental alienation. Mm -hmm. So that's how much world we need to connect. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. You know, and it's much more prevalent. It's, it, you know, some people have a tough time wrapping their head around the word parental alienation if you've never experienced it. However, it is very prevalent. In fact, last night I was watching, um, my brother texted me, hey, you've got to turn on to ABC. There's What Would You Do was on. I don't know if any of you watch What Would You Do? It's an amazing thing. So they basically create this scenario of a situation that can really like trigger people like usually in like in a restaurant or some sort of public place because they want to get the reaction from the onlookers who think that the little scenario is real people so yesterday it was around parental alienation one of the wow was, yeah like so they did it two different ways where dad brought the child to the restaurant for the child exchange and he's sitting there bad mouthing mom to the child and then the whole thing was point you know they the cameras were observing how the different people reacted uh to that kind of behavior and then they switched it out where mom was doing it you know 
to dad behind dad's back to the child. And, and it was amazing. Like people, what came out with the observers after they came out, the, the camera crew came out and they said, then they were like, okay, let's talk about this. And most of the people had an experience where they came from divorce and they, um, and their, one of their parents was being bad now. It's way, way more com common than Wow. Um, I got to find that. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I know. Last night I'm watching it and I'm like, oh my gosh, I wish, how can I get this thing so I can share it? <laughs> we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. If <laughs> yeah. I, I'll set that intention. We'll figure it out. So yeah. Yeah. Well, this is, uh, this has been really good. I, I, I really am. I'm excited too. Cause uh, for you, for me, for all of us, yeah. for our team, you know, I mean, this is some big stuff. So we've been waiting a long time for this. Yeah. Really yeah. have. It's awesome. I'm, I'm super excited. I'm super excited about the team and the, and the future team that we're, that we're going to be drawing to ourselves. And yep. I'm going to share one more time, share this um, lovely Instagram post um that was thrown together yesterday so and it is on facebook again so if you see it that's the one so if you happen to see this if you happen to see this in um any of the the groups and stuff like that that you're in if you can reply to it with your ideas then i think it'll all channel to the original post mm -hmm. okay all right okay thank you so much for joining yes. us Thank you. Another week of Custody Matters Live. Uh, and we'll see you again next week. Have a great night. Bye.